All right, so we're back with another video, and in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you all how you can add choices to your uh, slash command options. So what exactly are choices? Well, basically, they're just predefined values that you'll be able to see. Um, it's kind of hard to show you because I don't think there is a command um, that would work right now. Okay, so for example, you can see that these would be, for example, a list of choices. Okay, but we can add our own predefined ones, and I'll show you how to do that. So inside our uh, our object that's inside the options array, what we can do is we can go ahead and provide the choices property, and this is going to be an array as well. And each choices is going each choice is going to be a, a key value pair. So for example, the first choice can be cake, or wait, let me go ahead and do this. Yeah, cake, and then value we'll just do underscore or lowercase cake. Okay, so it's going to basically be a name value. Okay, so the name is how it's going to appear to the user and the value is going to be the actual value that you would have to, uh, you know, use to do whatever kind of logic you would need to do. So for cake, uh, we'll do hamburger. Hamburger. And I'll just do two for now. Okay, and let's go ahead and save. And we do need to wait for our bot to restart. So that way, uh, the changes can reflect. Okay, after that, it should be, should be fine, honestly. Uh, right, there we go. All right, so let's do slash order. And you can see now there's two options. There's cake and hamburger. Now, if I try to type something, it's not going to allow me to actually enter that because remember we have to we have to work with the predefined options that we have provided so we have cake hamburger okay and then i can go ahead and send that and then i'll say you order hamburger right if i try to do order i can only do cake or hamburger i cannot type whatever okay that's you know pretty cool pretty straightforward right so let's go over here now and let's go ahead and add uh, another option over here. So you can actually have multiple arguments as well. And I'll show you how you can do that. So, for example, let's say uh, instead of calling this option food, let's just call this, uh, you know, let's call this food. And then we'll add another option for drinks. So let's do name, drink, description, uh, type of drink. And let's set the type for the let's set the option type to be a string as well okay and then we'll do required set to true and choices let's do two choices uh well actually let me just show you what happens if we don't have choices right so let's just save this let's wait for it to restart and you should already know that without choices if you if you don't have choices you can just type whatever you want if you do have choices you cannot type whatever you want you have to select what's actually on the actual um on the actual list okay so just give it a sec and it should restart in just a little bit it takes so long these days back then it would just restart so quickly but now it just takes like a really long time to log the bot in There we go. All right, so let's go and do order. So you can see now that both of the different options appear. So let's go ahead and do food. So let's do cake. And for drink, I could just type whatever I want. Let's just do water. And it says you ordered cake. Now, if I wanted to get the the value of drink, right, uh, we can easily do that by just referencing interaction dot options dot get and then pass in drink. Okay, now let me show you what happens if I were to pass in a value for food, but if I don't pass something for drink, it's not going to allow you because this option is required. It's not an optional argument. Okay, so let's go over here and let's actually add some choices now. So choices, name, let's do water, value water. 
Let's do Coca Cola. Value Coca Cola. And then let's do one more. Let's do Sprite. Value Sprite. All right. Now let's save and let's just wait for this to finish restarting. And like I said, right now, our, uh, our commands array is obviously very messy. But in another video, I'll show you how you can actually uh, create these commands and interactions without needing to, uh, you know, uh, create them from scratch using a JSON object. I'll show you how you can actually use the Discord JS Builders library to build these out. And it's actually really simple. Uh, it still has not logged in yet. That's so ridiculous. Um, anyways, yeah, I don't know why it just takes so long to log in. It's like taking more than like 30 seconds. There we go. All right, so let's go ahead and try this again. So let's order food. Let's do hamburger. And now you can see our options for drink right there. Water, cool, cool, Sprite. Okay, so let's do Sprite and let's enter. And that works perfectly. And if we wanted to do stuff with set values, uh, again, reference interaction dot options. And let's see. Um, now, the nice thing about this is that there's flexibility in how you want to manage your data. If you just want to deal with it as a raw array, you can just reference the data property. If you already know what data you want, you can just call get. And then we can just do drink value. And let's go ahead. Before I do anything, let me do this real quick. Const uh, const food equals interaction options get food value const drink equals interaction option get drink value. All right, cool. And let's go ahead and just say you ordered. You ordered food and drink. So just interpolate those variable values. All right. And let's order again cake and Coca Cola. Let's just wait for the bot to log in. It's going to re I'm just going to manually restart from now on because this is just going to take forever. I wonder if it's because of uh, of this API call. I wonder if, if that's the reason why. But I probably it'd probably be smart to just wait for the API call to be finished before we actually log the bot in. I think that'd be a lot better. Anyways, you ordered cake and Coca Cola, so I accidentally got the value of that. Uh oh, I, I see now. You ordered cake and Coca Cola. Okay, yeah, that's fine. We just what we would just have to change like the values and stuff, but you get the point. That's how you could get the values. Okay, if you want to get the name, you get the name of that instead. And that would show you the proper name, not the value. Let's do hamburger sprite. Bot's not gonna log in. I swear this whole video is gonna be way longer than it should be because of the Discord bot not wanting to log in fast enough. Okay. You ordered food and drink. See, that's if you wanted to do with names. But uh, yeah, that's, you know, pretty straightforward. Hopefully... You know this makes sense hopefully you understand how choices work and hopefully you can see that you can have as many options as you want you can also set the required to false if you don't want drink to be mandatory right because not everyone has to order a drink and you can also add another option too if you want so you can add like a dessert option but like i said i encourage you to play around with this and see how that works so in the next video what we'll do is we'll go ahead and install the discord js builders library and i'll show you how you can actually use that to create your commands instead of just doing it like this because obviously this is just going to get really messy and it's just going to be really hard to maintain so thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you all in the next one peace out